Castle Troy is a performance-based polish system in a standalone category because the chemical composition is completely unique to us. All the components are scientifically engineered to function as a system. Do not separate the components or use other products when applying Dazzle Dry because all the components are designed to synergistically work together. I will walk you through the easy steps. Make sure you have everything ready to go ahead of time. Lay out all the items you see listed here prior to starting. So how do you remove Dazzle Dry? Super simple. It comes off with regular polish remover. No soaking, no scraping, no filing needed. We offer two wonderful polish removers, an acetone and a non-acetone, and they both have essential oil, so they smell really pleasant. I've already filed and shaped my nails, and I also gave them a gentle buff. Before we dive into our application, I'm gonna start by scrubbing my nails with soap and water. Let me explain why. Polish will not adhere if there's dirt, oil, or lotion present on the nails. So I'm using a clean nail brush to scrub each nail really well. Rinse your fingertips in water to remove the suds. Pat your hands dry, and then proceed with Dazzle Dry nail prep. All the steps in the Dazzle Dry system are numbered to take the guesswork out of how to use it. Step number one in the system is nail prep. This step is designed to cleanse, sanitize, and moisturize the nails. I'm saturating my lint-free wipes really well. One per hand, and we're gonna scrub. As you move on to the next nail, watch closely at what I'm about to do. Rotate your pad to find a clean spot to ensure that you're not just pushing around dirt, oil, or lotion. Now that you have prepared your canvas, do not touch your nails to avoid transfer of oils from your fingertips onto the nails because this can cause premature chipping. Step number two in the system is base coat. This technology is unique to us and is one of the reasons why your manicure will last so long. It allows the manicure to flexibly expand and contract with the natural nail. Do you see how this bottle of base coat is cloudy? The base coat must be clear like water prior to application. To achieve this, we're gonna close the cap tight and stand it in one inch of hot water until it is completely clear. Do not run the bottle under a faucet or submerge it underwater. If water gets inside your base coat, it will become contaminated and it must be discarded. This is what it looks like. It's completely clear like water. And we're going to apply it by dipping the brush in the bottle for each nail. Swipe one side of your brush on the inner neck of the bottle, allow the excess product to flow back into the bottle. You will notice that it is very thin, almost watery. Don't apply it too heavy so you don't flood the skin with base coat. Coming in contact with skin can cause lifting and chipping, but if you get base coat on the skin, don't worry. Clean it up right away with a detail brush or orange wood stick dipped in pure acetone, and here's what it looks like. Encapsulate each nail by running the tip of the brush along the tip of your nail. If your nails are short like mine, you can skip that encapsulation. It is so important to allow each layer to dry matte prior to applying the next layer. It doesn't dry to a chalky matte, but rather it no longer looks wet like water. It can get gummy if the second layer is applied while the first one is still wet. All the layers dry very quickly. Repeat the second layer of base coat. Notice that the second layer of base is not quite as matte as the first layer. Don't let the slight sheen throw you off. Don't touch your nails to check to see if it's dry as this can transfer oils from your fingertips and cause premature chipping. Let's move on to our beautiful polishes, step number three in the system. Because Dazzle Dry polishes dry so quickly, there's a trick to applying them to avoid streaking or disrupting the previous layer. The key is more polish on your brush, minimal pressure on your brush, and work mostly with the tip of your brush for best results. You're gonna notice that I don't press hard and fan out the bristles. You wanna go easy on the first layer and a little more generous on the second layer. After shaking the polish to resuspend the pigment, 
Dip the brush in the bottle for each nail and swipe one side of the brush on the inner neck of the bottle and allow excess product to just flow back into the bottle. Now you see how the belly of the brush is loaded with polish on one side? That is what you are looking for. Now we're going to apply the first layer of polish using about a medium consistency. When I set the brush down, I don't but the brush up to the cuticle. I keep a small margin between the brush and the cuticle and push the brush towards your cuticle to form your guideline. Then I run the brush down both sides of the nail and finally smooth out any imperfections until I get the desired coverage. You want to apply enough product so that it's not too streaky, but it's not quite full coverage just yet. That comes with the second layer. Remember, the key when applying your Dazzle Dry Manicure is to allow each layer to dry matte prior to applying the next layer. I cannot emphasize this enough. Typically, by the time you're finished with the second hand, the first hand is already dried matte. Let it air dry. Don't touch it. Don't use a fan. Don't blow on your nails or flap your hands. We're not trying to take flight here. All of these common practices can impact adhesion. The second layer may be applied generously. Be mindful of not applying too heavily so that the polish doesn't roll to one side or pull. Now we will let this layer dry matte prior to applying top coat to finish our manicure. You see how easy this is? I have all the confidence in you that you can do this. Also, keep in mind you should avoid contact with skin to prevent lifting and chipping. However, don't worry if you get it on the skin. Simply clean it up as you go with your detail brush or orange wood stick dipped in pure acetone to perfect your application. Step number four in our system is our top coat. Dazzle Dry Top Coat is high gloss, non-yellowing, quick drying, long wearing, and self-leveling. If there are any minor imperfections in the polish application, the top coat will self-level and smooth it all out. Remember to never, ever, ever warm the top coat. The base coat should be warm to decloud it, but never the top coat. Once your second layer of polish has dried matte, you're going to apply a generous layer of top coat. Use the tip of the brush to glide over and burst any air bubbles that may have formed while it is still wet, and it also helps to have really good overhead lighting so that you can make sure you see well. Now that we have applied top coat, that is it. That is your Dazzle Dry application process. You see how easy that was? No drying drops, no sprays, no lights, no dryers, nothing. Wait five minutes, your polish is completely dry. To prevent dulling of your top coat, avoid coming in contact with alcohol-based products. If your manicure does dull, you can simply touch it up with one layer of base coat, followed by one layer of top coat. This will refresh your shine and extend the life of your manicure. Now that it's been five minutes, this is the moment of truth. Can you guys hear that? I mean, how impressive is that? I'm literally stabbing this and there's nothing. It looks perfect. Isn't this impressive? You don't have to wait 24 hours like you do with traditional polish for all the layers to dry and fuse together. Five minutes is all it takes and you're completely, completely dry. Whatever it is you need to do, it gives you your life back and you're not gonna smudge your nails. That's the beauty of Dazzle Dry. let's talk about a vital component of the system called Revive. I like to tell people, you can't have a polish system that air dries in five minutes and not expect it to get thick. Dazzle Dry Polish and Top Coat will get thick, period. And Revive is your best friend and a vital component of the system. It's not a typical thinner, so do not fear it. Adding Revive will not change the color or impact the efficacy of the products like other thinners do. With routine use of Revive as needed in your polish and top coat, you will be able to use the products to the last drop to maximize your investment. Once the polish is thick, no longer fluid or smooth, that's your indication that it's time to add Revive. When your top coat gets thick or forms air bubbles, these are your indications that you need to add Revive. There's no limit to the number of times you will need to add Revive to the polishes or the top coat. 
the base coat will never need revive. In fact, if you accidentally add revive to the base coat, it must be discarded. Let me show you how to add revive to your polish. Fill the dropper, and you're gonna add about six to eight drops at a time. Shake it well. Think of it like cooking with salt. Start with less and you can always add more if needed until that desired viscosity is achieved. And this is the fluid drip you're looking for. See, that's what you want it to look like when you add Revive. Same with the top coat. You're gonna start with six to eight drops of Revive at a time. Instead of shaking the top coat, you're going to roll it in one direction to avoid air bubbles. So remember, you shake your polish and roll your top coat after adding Revive. This was so much fun. Thank you for watching and becoming a Dazzle Dry expert. We appreciate each and every one of you. For more in-depth tips, tricks, and best practices, or to find a Dazzle Dry certified salon near you, please visit our blogs and FAQs at DazzleDry.com. Bye, everyone.